Hey, are we live? Thank you very much for inviting me to chat with you. And thank you so much for, for, for having me on. Here we go. Okay. So wh what are the... Um, what are the markets where you have some customers that are already reopening? Um, at, at this point, are you looking at Asia as being a market that's opening s sooner than, let's say, Europe or, or, um, or the Middle East? Or do you feel like the Europe actually went ahead of the Middle East, which is still uh, in lockdown? Yeah, I mean, we, we, we kind of have an office that takes care of the Asia side of the business uh, through Japan. Um, but obviously we are starting to see some markets opening in Europe, uh, Germany, Spain are looking to, to kind of open up. Uh, I believe that the Dutch market also is starting to come out of this, this other side. So, so it's, it's a slow process. I mean, obviously the UK, yeah. the UK generally is, is kind of gearing up to start around about the start of July. Um, yeah. see all, all being well that there's no second spike or, or an increase right. in the the R rate that the government talks about. So yeah, I mean, in terms of the UK market, we're still waiting. Um, it's a difficult one to know because obviously, as I say, I, I speak to a lot of the, or listen to a lot of the comments made by operators within the UK from various forums. Um, and I think that they've, they've, they've kind of got a difficult time ahead of them in knowing what is the right thing to do, um, you know, what measures do they have to put in place whilst dealing with the strain of having no income through right. the first part of the year, which you know from from a, from a uk operator especially seaside operators a significant portion of their income has gone already um and it's going to make it difficult for them to to kind of put put things in place but but they'll, they'll need to do it and and yeah. in the main they are doing it and it's and it's but it's that unknown quantity of how far to go with it before you kind of start wasting money Right. So there's there's so many measures that um, any of these operators um, can take. Right. Um, they've been there's ample documentation on it, videos and whatnot on the steps that they can take to mitigate risk as they reopen. Um, what are some of the most pervasive steps that you've seen or that you've heard from some of your customers in terms of the steps that they're taking? Um, I mean, uh, the, the, I suppose the most easily. Uh, the most easier way of looking at it would be that the, the, the cleaning is going to be a, a major part of it. Um, confidence from the players, from the visitors, their sites, FECs um, is going to be key. And, and, and I think it's confidence that, that, that you're walking into a place that, okay, there's a risk of, uh, of an infection, however small that might be. Um, That's right. but, the, but the sites are doing as much as they can to make that a safe environment whilst obviously trading. Um, in, in a difficult time so yeah the, okay. the operators will will do as much as they can to, yes. to, 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 to give confidence to the players um i think prior to the lockdown we we were talking to a couple of sites that were actively going out and cleaning machines on a more regular basis but not only going out and cleaning them but going out with a high vis on so that people noticed that they were doing it and it kind that's of that's right i think that, that's the kind of thing that will that will breed confidence and it's going to be a difficult one to get over, but but we'll find a way. Absolutely correct. In terms of mm -hmm. the um, the change in cleaning protocols, the stricter cleaning um, and rigorous schedule, um, the the um, cadence of cleaning has also been mm -hmm. um, elevated as well. We've seen that. Um, in the industry. And we've also seen that in insight reports and research reports where consumers have said, hey, there is going to be a surge of consumers that come out of this lockdown, right? Um, but they don't want to go anywhere that they perceive that there might be a risk. Um, and then at the same time, you have business owners who are saying, how far do we take it? Do we do lines outside of our venue with social distancing stickers? Do we do temperatures? Mm -hmm. Do we do check-in? Do it? There's so much that can be done that can kind of go overboard. And then at the same time, some of the operators are feeling like we don't know how much is enough. It's definitely a, a challenging time because we're all just trying to get through this and figure out how, how to progress and navigate this and get to the other side. So it's, it's, not, it's not an easy um, equation. Certainly, yeah. I, I think, yeah, I, I think, um, I mean, you're right, there will be a surge of people that will come out of lockdown 
I think we're, we're starting to see them that, that appear now, um, you know, especially with the good weather we had in the UK a couple of weeks ago where there was the beaches were packed. I think I think there'll be a there's, there's there'll definitely be a surge of people. I think there'll there'll also be a, a, a kind of end of the, the the pandemic that will kind of keep people's mind That's set right. on the infection. But I also think that there will be people that will kind of go headlong into it and think, well, you know, we're, we're through the worst of it. Could it be folly? I'm not sure. Um, but as I say, from an operating point of view, as long as you do as much as you can to to negate any risk, there's not there's not much else you can do. That, that's absolutely correct. Um, and I think we just recently had the author of The Hammer and the Dance on in bed live when she was looking at some of the, the math and the metrics and the different markets and who did it right, who did it intelligently, who was a little bit too draconian. And um, it was fascinating just the impact that wearing a mask can have just scientifically um, speaking. But well, it's been such a great um, chat that we have had today. Steve, did you want to cover anything else? No, I'd just like to say that, you know, to all our, our, our UK customers and Ireland customers, we're, we're here to help. If you need us, you know where I am, give me a call. That's lovely. Thank you, Steve. I know we always feel like we can call you. You are our key partner in Europe. And so we appreciate that. We appreciate all the support and cooperation. And I thank you so much for bringing the light today and sharing your perspective with us. And I really hope that the pubs will be opening up soon and that everything will go back to normal. We'll get through this for sure.